Hi, my name is Jason Webster. I'm Bex Hybrids, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we're continuing our tour across the Midwest looking at high yielding corn, uh, hopefully here in the 2015 growing season. Today our travels have led us to Farmington, Missouri. And with us today is Roy Berghaus. Roy, thanks for being with us here today and thanks for signing up for Bex 300 Bushel Challenge. R Roy, tell us about some of the other things you're doing as far as agronomic practices go on this farm that you're doing different from your, your, your just your normal farming operation? Okay. Well, we, we have had this, this place all intensive tested, and uh, the last two years, or in, in 13 and 14, I applied the buildup to it as, as it called for in the variable rate spreading. Now, this year we did not do the variable rate, but um, I made sure I applied enough. Okay. Tell us about your nitrogen program. Tell us mm -hmm. how you're applying nitrogen to this corn crop, the spinner bushel challenge, um, and maybe talk about the timings because you're not doing all your nitrogen in one pass, right? No, no I, uh, I put down um, the first pass uh, was uh, pre-emerge, uh, pre-burn down. Mm -hmm. um, it is all no-till and it is um, I put on 200 units of nitrogen then, which okay. probably for my CEC was a little high, quite a bit high. Okay. But um, and then at uh, approximately V6, V7, we came on with uh, another 100 pounds of, uh, and it's all been your super U, well stabilized best we can okay. to try to keep it here anyway. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the conditions you've had here since planting. I know you've been in a really wet area and I know we're, we're looking at this pivot behind us. I don't know that we really need that pivot right now because all the, all the rain you've had, but tell us what this crop has gone through since the day of planting. Since the day of planting, I think now with what we've already got here today makes over 19 inches, 19 and a half, 20 inches of water we've had on it in the last 40 days. So uh, it's been stressed, to put it mildly. Also with us today is Justin Zeb. Justin is the local seed advisor for Bex Hybrids in this particular area in Missouri. Justin, thanks for being here with us today. You've been working with Roy, developing the 300 bushel plan. Tell us how that relationship has gone with Roy and maybe tell us what specific agronomic studies out of Bex Practical Farm Research book that you've used to help Roy with this 300 plan. Um, uh... Things going actually really well with Roy uh, this year. Um, first time I sat down with Roy, he said uh, everything. One thing every farmer needs to do is grow 300 bushel corn before he hangs it up. So right out of the gate, I knew he was a shoe in for the challenge and started talking about his operation. He said he had a pivot, and it was corn on corn, and it was no till. So I 6365 was a shoe in for me. And then for the individual studies in PFR, I threw the book down in front of Roy and I think two weeks later I think he probably had it read cover to cover <laughs> and he was on board with everything um, the multiple shots of nitrogen uh, he threw the fungicide in early and he's been open to any and every idea to uh, try and hit this certain bushel goal. Awesome. Be sure to check back in with us next month as we continue to follow Roy on his 300 bushel challenge um, here with Beck Cybridge. So in the meantime this has been Jason Webster following this farmer's personal journey to 300 bushel challenge.